Are you facing lag and stutters in CS2 and facing FPS drops? So this video is for you guys. In this video, I will show you some important settings that will reduce your input lag and stutters and give you maximum FPS in CS2. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Let's dive in. All right, the first step to reducing the number of processes running on your CPU involves making some adjustments in the registry editor. To get started, search for registry editor and click on it. Once inside the registry editor, navigate to the following path. HKEY LOCAL MACHINE, SYSTEM, CURRENT CONTROL IT, CONTROL. Once you're in the control section, locate the registry key named SV cost split threshold in KB. The value you'll input here depends on the amount of RAM installed on your system. Refer to the chart that I'll show on the screen for the appropriate value based on your RAM size. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, the value you'll enter is 1 million. Before you proceed, ensure that the value type is set to hexadecimal. Then, input value which represents 1 million. Once you've entered the value, click OK to save the changes. This tweak optimizes the way your system handles certain processes, reducing CPU load. Make sure you double check the values based on your RAM configuration to avoid potential issues. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in description. Select the CS to game and click the boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. Open the start menu and go to settings. Once you're inside settings, navigate to the gaming section and look for the Xbox game bar. Make sure to turn it off. The Xbox Game Bar is known for negatively impacting game performance. Because it runs in the background, if you've been using it for gameplay recording, consider switching to alternative options. NVIDIA Shadowplay is a potential replacement, although it's not my personal favorite, but it's still an improvement over the Game Bar. A better alternative is OBS, which is reliable and works efficiently for recording gameplay. For now, focus on disabling the Xbox Game Bar. After that, Head over to game mode and make sure it's turned on. Over time, game mode has undergone significant improvements with recent Windows updates, and I'm genuinely impressed with its current functionality. Enabling it is highly recommended. While you're still in this section, click on graphics settings under the related settings section. If you spot an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, turn it on. Unfortunately, my PC doesn't have this feature, so I'll have to wait it out, but if you're lucky enough to have it available, enabling it will provide a noticeable boost to your system's performance. For the Choose an App to Set Preference option, begin by selecting Desktop App and then clicking on Browse. Locate the executable opening parenthesis.exe file for the game you want to optimize and add it to these settings. To do this, go to the folder where your game is installed. Locate the cs to x file. Once you found the correct file, select it and click Add. After adding the file, click on Options, select the High Performance setting, and then click Save. Your settings are now optimized. So guys that was today's video, hit the like button make sure to subscribe. Peace out.